Today we're going to create this really easy eye makeup look. Yes, it is 10 steps, but each step is really quick, easy, and great for beginners. And you can swap out the colors and pick whichever color that you want to create a completely different look each time, but using the same steps. That's why I love this look. But before we begin, if you're new here to the Makeup Chair channel and you enjoy makeup videos, then I might suggest clicking the subscribe button below and turning on the bell for notifications. And if you're already subscribed, then thank you and welcome back. Now let's get started creating this look. This look is a spotlight eye and a spotlight eye is basically a smoky eye with an empty space in the middle that is filled with a lighter shadow to draw the light to the center. This is great to really show off your eye color, especially if you're using the opposite shade on their color wheel. But a neutral spotlight eye like this also works on most colors. But do let me know what your eye color is and share what makes them pop. But if you're not sure, you can definitely let me know and I'll try and help you figure that out. Now with all that said, let's start with step number one and that's priming the eyelids. Now I already primed my eyelids, but as you can see, I'm already starting to get a few creases. If I went straight in with the eyeshadow, I would actually end up setting the creases in place. So use your fingertips or a damp sponge to tap them out if you see them forming already. And then before they have a chance to reform, go in with a sheer neutral eyeshadow, but you just want to avoid the lower center lid where the spotlight is gonna be. This will prevent those creases from forming again, and it means that everything else is going to go on so much smoother. Step number two is take any matte, vibrant eyeshadow on a fluffy brush. You want to apply this on the outer edge of the eye, up into the crease, and then down to the inner corner of the eye, kind of like a rainbow shape. Now this shadow needs to be matte and you only want to apply a sheer layer. So you can go for something a little bit more vibrant, but you just want to apply a sheer wash. And this is also going to be our highest eyeshadow. So we're going to be working below this as we move on. Step number three, take a shadow that's deeper and duller than the previous shadow on a fluffy brush and apply this in exactly the same way, but this time we're starting a little bit lower than before. Use the rainbow analogy again and just imagine that this is the next color on your rainbow. This will create a tight seal around the center of the lid where the spotlight is gonna be placed. So keep repeating the same shape, outer edge, high into the crease, down to the inner corner of the eye. And these two shadows should pretty much blur and blend together. Don't worry if you're not getting too much definition at this point. Just remember to keep the center of the lid free of any shadow. For the next step, pick up your darkest eyeshadow and apply this with a smaller brush. We need to be a little bit more careful with this step because we are getting really low and very close to the center of the lid. So remembering to keep the center of the lid free of any color, you're going to very slowly build up the depth, applying a little bit at a time. Now don't worry if it looks a little bit too harsh because the next step will fix that, but just make sure you're getting a good amount of depth on that outer edge, bring it into the crease and then to the inner edge. Now I like the outer edge to be a little bit stronger than the inner edge, but that's just my personal preference. Step number six, take the same shadow that you used for step number three on a fluffy brush and blend this around the edges of the previous shadow. What this will do is keep the depth while adding a soft kind of a blur. Alternatively, you can use the shadow from step number two instead, but it's totally up to you. And a pro tip for this step is to hold the brush a little further down on the handle. We want a very soft, gentle wash and blend. So by holding the brush a little further down on the handle, it just means we're gonna have less pressure on the brush, which will just mean that we have a sheerer amount of pigment and we'll get a softer blend. Step number seven, take your spotlight shadow and apply this to the center of the lid. Now I like to layer my spotlight, so I start off with this golden shade, which is lighter than any of the other shades that we've used so far, but then what I do is I take an even lighter shadow and just apply it directly in the center of the spotlight, and this will just create the illusion of more depth. And then you should end up with something that looks like this. 
For step number eight, I added a touch of glitter to the center of the lid and I love these highlighters because they go on so easy and they also stay in place all day. I just applied a touch directly in the middle. I then just cleaned up around my eyes, applied my face makeup, and I do have a video on that if you want to check out the link above. I then applied my mascara and some falsies, and then there you go, 10 steps to a spotlight eye. You can adjust this to work for your eye color, you can adjust how deep and how dark you want to go. I love a spotlight eye and I also have a video on my top three makeup tricks to bring your eye makeup to an even higher level so you can go and check that one out too. And to my spoonies, I just have to say I am struggling. I am having a really bad flare up and whenever I feel like this I always share it because you can feel very alone when you're having a flare up or even if you're just worried about something or you're trying to deal with something, your mind can feel like a very lonely place to be. But I promise you, you are not alone. I am not alone. We are alone together, which means that we have company and I want to send spoons to anyone who needs them. And I want to tell you that I am right there with you and I want to tell you to be kind to yourself. And I hope that I see you in a video really soon. And I also must say, I'm sorry for not posting the wedding pictures like I mentioned on my Instagram. I will tomorrow. I'll show you my dress, even though I got my period a week early. So the dress is like tight. <laughs> but me and Davey had so much fun. It was a really lovely, lovely wedding. It was a little bit more private, so I'm not going to share too much about it, but I'll share a couple of different things. And I will see you guys in a video really soon. Be kind to yourself. <laughs>